Let's get to another big story a lot of you are talking about tonight. That fraternity at ODU suspended for hazing. An investigation by the Virginian pilot revealed the university suspended Omega Psi Phi's Tau Lambda chapter for five years. They're accused of beating pledges with wooden paddles, forcing them to drink hot sauce, and pouring hot sauce on their genitals. Robert Boyd has reaction from campus all new tonight. That's crazy. I can't believe that people actually like do that on campus in like the days, day and days. ODU students react to the suspension of the Omega Sci Fi Tau Lambda fraternity. And I think that that's really degrading as a person to put hot sauce on somebody's genitals. I don't see the point of, I guess, pouring hot sauce down someone's pants. Alexander Evans is in a fraternity himself, Alpha Phi Alpha. Have you ever been through any hazing? No, never, never. Evan says this kind of suspension brings a black eye to the entire Greek community. Because the reason why I joined the fraternity was, you know, just to, you know, surround myself around people who wanted to be successful. But other students say the animal house stigma is very real. It's a bunch of partying, drugs, waste of time, waste of money. You know, my grades went down significantly because... You know, Vlad Belov says he's not surprised to hear about this sort of hazing at ODU. Did you go through hazing personally? When I was pledging, yes. Belov says these hazing victims need to speak out and say that's enough. That's what he did. I left and I said, you know, screw it and just said, said stop doing it. Students we spoke with say it's difficult to sell the positives of joining a frat or sorority when the negatives are so extreme. Like if they're going to say hot sauce on genitals, uh, I don't think I'd sign up for that. And it's actually why I haven't really joined a sorority. Rumors of that stuff happening so didn't make it really seem worth it to me. Well, Kyrie Johnson of Alpha Phi Omega says ODU will get through this and come out the other end a lot stronger. It's a learning experience that we can all make sure not to make mistakes, you know, and, you know, we all stick together and make sure that, you know, we become unified and, you know, build up our own Greek life ourselves. And Robert joins us now from the newsroom. So, Robert, what are ODU officials saying about this? Well, we reached out to ODU a couple times today. They did not get back to us, but we can tell you under the school policy, they are firmly against any type of hazing at their sororities and fraternities. All right. Thank you, Robert.